Hello, good evening, how are you doing? I am the barman, correct. How are you doing? I got so pissed off with your last order, I'm just going to spend seven minutes calling you a fucking Joe 90 looking cunt. That's basically what I'm going to do. I might work on the bar, dickhead, but I'm a professional. You probably might not want to shout out. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Yes. There you fucking go. If you got any straws, go fuck yourself. No. Um, it's with me lips. <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> my name's Monty. Uh, I'm 35. I tell really, absolutely horrible, dark jokes, and you can't sneak get on board fucking immediately. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Well, let's have a little test. Uh, Vern Troyer died recently. Mini me, didn't he? That was. Oh. Uh, what was he? Your uncle? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> he did a porn. Did you ever see that? Yeah, yeah man. Me. <laughs> I filmed it. <laughs> Vern Troyer's porn, man. Midget porn. Short and sweet. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Five words! Five word fucking joke, lad, you know what I mean? Can you be funny in five words? I can do it in three, mate. Bitches love chivalry. Boom, here you go, mate, all day. In your face, fucking have that, mate. Um, <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> fucking hell. Ah, change the setting in your love eggs, love. Uh, <laughs> Fucking funny, him and he. Ah, <laughs> oh. my name's Monty, man. I've got a daughter. She's three. It's pretty cool. Uh, she's hey. sweet as the fuck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you look like you want to fuck her. To be fair, pedo. Ah, uh, just. For anyone offended by that joke, I fucking warned you at the start, didn't I? You could have easily been out there ordering your shit drink right now. Uh, nah, she's three, man, and uh, she's got a nemesis. It's fucking mental, the cutest rivalry I've ever seen in my life, man. Her, her nemesis is called Maisie, right? And they're at, they're at nursery, and they're, they're playing, right? It's changed since I was a kid, right? I was in 1982, I was born, right? I'm old as fuck, that's right. I saw you taking me out, yeah, dad swag. I don't give a fuck, mate. Um... <laughs> Like a shirt, I've got 18 of them, fucking Primark, let's go. I've got a... I mean, basically, the nursery are teaching him, like, well, it doesn't matter about the winning, it's the taking part that counts. It doesn't really matter who... Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. I teach my daughter to be competitive, because that's life, innit? You win sometimes, you lose sometimes. If you want to get ahead in life, that's what it is. Be graceful in both. I think that's all right. We got called into the schools, apparently. They play a game called The Floor is Lava, right? We all have aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they play in school, and they go, ah, fucking get up on something, like, quick, you know? And usually all the other goofy fucking, probably going to work in Primark fucking kids, they're, uh... <laughs> Do you want help with your packing? That's basically all they're going to... Right, I'm just... They're always out. They're always out early. It's always Sophie and Maisie. And then there's a game like, oh, well, we can't really tell who got there first. You know, maybe you both won. We didn't. There's a loser. Figure it out, bitch. Like, they're both competitive as shit, mate. And I got called into the nursery. Because like I said, I teach her to be competitive. Now, what's wrong with this? She, 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 she like celebrated a little once she like won the game. Right, but the problem is Maisie had gotten up in a chair and it kind of the leg gave away and she kind of fell off. So, you know, it wasn't that bad a victory, like that celebration or whatever. All she did was, oh, damn, Maisie! Oh, damn, cunt! <laughs> the floor is lava, bitch! <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Stop showing me fucking pictures of your kids. I'll be honest. Um, I never do it to anyone because I know how annoying that is. Like, oh, you got a kid, Monty. Oh, I've got a kid. Look at this. Here's a picture of him in a hat. Here's a picture of him jumping. I don't give a fuck about I'm not even related to that kid. Go fuck yourself. I don't care. 
Understand if your kid comes to stay at my house, like we'll have an amazing time, Sophia and them. We'll get the tent out in the living room. We'll camp out and everything. It's going to be an amazing time. We're going to have like little snacks. Oh, dude, I, I proper. Like, you like Harry Potter? Motherfucking Harry Potter party, mate. <laughs> never even read the books i'm doing it right it's gonna be an amazing time but also understand if there's a fire <laughs> your, your child's gonna die awfully like i'm just i only had time to get one and my guitar i suppose you know personal effects are important you can't replace photographs so you've got three of them it's not even your best one why don't you just have another one i don't get it <laughs> I don't know. Monty, your child's in that building. What are you going to do? It's on fire. Fucking, I'm in. I'm in. Kicking down doors. Fucking axe. I don't know where I found that, but breaking down doors. I ain't going to fucking leave until I've got my daughter out. Are you with me, ladies? You're exactly the same, right? If I was your kid. But if I, oh, Monty, there's a child in that building. Someone better get here quick. Like, I'm... Um, I can feel the heat from here, man. Fucking up. <laughs> Can't you do anything, Monty? Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. Maisie! The floor is lava! <laughs> that bitch better run. <laughs> I'm fucking me. Of course I'd go in. I'd die too. So, I, uh... Recently, I quit smoking. It was a big deal for me. I, um, thank you. I, um, <laughs> I quit smoking, man. It was a big thing for me. Uh, I, I like I vape and stuff. Cool vape trick, bro. I'm not one of them wankers. <laughs> it's like, fucking big cloud when you. I'm not one of them dickheads, but I do vape. It has helped me and everything. But genuinely, I think it was one conversation with my uncle. That's what did it for me. Just one day, I was having a cigarette outside, and he came up. Somebody said, "Man, I don't know. It resonated with me. It scared the shit out of me. Perfectly honest and." Six months, I haven't touched a cigarette, and, uh, you know, if, I don't think I'll ever smoke again. If I could pass that on to someone here, I, I think that's worth my time, man. I hope it's worth yours. And uh, here's what my uncle said. He went, yeah, I'm on you. Yeah, I'm on you. And you got a spare fag. <laughs> Keep it lighter, Davros. I don't think I'll need it. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. I'll be at the bar. Cheers. Thank you.